Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. 648 is your time and Memorial Day is here and it's bringing us a beautiful sunrise today. This is from Bogus Basin. Take some time to spend some time outdoors today, especially because temperatures are going to be so nice and warm. Now we're going to see a large thermometer spike not only today, but tomorrow too, and that will cause the probability for some severe weather. But don't worry, we have a cool down on the way and I'm going to break down all this for you so you can manage your expectations for this week. Now today we have the upper level ridge. Oh, if it can come back. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're finally getting somewhere. We have this upper level ridge continuously building over the area. And when we're seeing something like this, that warm air mass shifts up and it cooks us kind of like a frying pan. So it really gives us those nice warm temperatures. But because of this disturbance off of Western Canada, this will eventually shift down and this moisture will be able to flow into our area. And because that lifting mechanism is there, that's why we see that severe weather outlook. So here's what we're expecting around the area. A lot of the marginal risk associated with our northern areas. We're still seeing those thunderstorm probabilities, but what this really all means is that those ingredients for severe weather are there. Now, it doesn't mean that it will happen everywhere, but here's what you can expect as you go into tomorrow. Cloud coverage will start to build in, heavier spots in Jerome and Twin Falls, and then eventually we'll start to see a heavier amount come towards Mountain Home and Glens Ferry. Now, the good news about this, the bulk of this heavier precipitation going to come in overnight, so 8 o'clock tonight. This will be while you're getting tucked away, hopefully into bed and getting ready for the work day on Wednesday. But a lot of this is what could carry those severe thunderstorms and outlooks. So just really be weather where heading into tomorrow. We are still getting really nice outlooks for the entirety of the week. It's just we have to keep our eyes on that. Now today temperatures mid 80s. Tomorrow we have the possibility of reaching a 90. But again, this daytime heating causing in and driving that energy for storms to form. Now we drop off as that cool front comes in 70s and 60s. So not really the cool coolest temperatures we've seen, but still on the cooler end. So still beautiful weather ahead of us for the next week. We return to the 80s on Saturday, so lots of warm weather as we start to make our way into June. But take a look at today. Temperatures mid 80s across our Treasure Valley. Beautiful day ahead of us in our Magic Valley. We're sitting on the cooler side in the upper 70s across much of the area. The lowest temperature we have here right now, 76 in Oakley. So it's going to be a really nice a warm day ahead of us. And if you have any plans, don't even need to worry about any severe weather threats until tomorrow afternoon. Now it's going to be still be sunny during the day, but we just have to keep our eyes as we make our way into four o'clock. Now temperatures could reach even a 90 tomorrow and send again. We could see that cooler temperature come in on Wednesday and Thursday, 70s and 60s with the weekend looking nice and dry and back in the 80s. We'll continue to keep you updated here at Idaho News 6. Have a wonderful Memorial Day, Idaho. And for now, let's cruise over to traffic.